name is Alice. My name is James Cho. My name is Matthew Kim. Personally, I took lots of practice tests and I took an SAT class outside of school as well to help me master the skills that College Board will be testing us on. I took around 30 practice tests as I was preparing for the SATs and the ACTs and I don't regret it at all. I think it really prepared me for those tests. I took several steps to preparing for the ACT. Um, one of them is spending some time over the summer doing, since that's when we have a lot of free time available to us without the constraints of school and homework and such as that. My one and only piece of advice to study for the SAT is to start early because um, by starting early you have more chances to take the test and more time to practice and learn the skills that um, they will be testing you on. I recommend that you review your tests every time you take one and to go over your mistakes and even questions that you got right but you were still unsure of. One of the biggest tips that I have is to simulate the test taking experience as close as possible to when you're actually taking the real exam. I try to take the exam either early in the morning to simulate that early morning experience when you're taking the actual exam or late at night since late at night you still feel that same kind of tiredness and grogginess that you'd feel in the morning. When you do take a practice, practice exam, I try to not take it in parts. The fatigue that you get as you're taking the test is just as important. I really recommend using Khan Academy because they have lots of free resources like free video lessons on English or math skills. They also have individualized practice problems that was analyzed based on your past PSAT scores or if you have taken the SAT, they would analyze your score and then come up with more questions that specifically practice you on your weaknesses. And I also recommend using practice books because they are more accessible and um, you can basically purchase them at any bookstore or you can borrow them at public libraries. They also have them online as well and they usually have lots of practice problems inside as well and lots of tips that authors have came up with. So yeah. In the end, um, when you get your acceptance and your rejection letters, I imagine that you'll be uh, deciding between different colleges, looking at the pros and cons for each college. Um, and at that point, I think it's better if you have more options. So you might as well take the SAT and HT so you can expand um, the number of colleges that you can apply to.